Forever is the strangest thing. It's shorter than you think. All right, everybody, thank you for watching more time fishing. I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how I rig up my favorite catfish rig for big catfish. This is the rig I use 99% of the time. There are a bunch of other really good rigs that work as well, but this is just the one that I seem to always go to. So starting off, I got 80 pound braid right here. 80 pound braid. Coming off of my Pin Pursuit 3 5000 reel. It holds 40 pound braid, but I was able to put 80 pound on no problem. So I have the 80 pound braid here. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my sinker sliding. This is kind of just a cheaper one I found at the fish store, at the bait store. It comes with a weight clip that's attached to it as well as this right here that allows it to slide up and down. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the main line so that is the first thing I'm adding right here. I can go ahead and just set that up there. The second part after the sinker slide is our bead. This bead is going to protect our knot from when that weight is slamming down on our knot. This bead is going to be in between it, protecting that knot, which is very important. I've had, I've lost a couple good fish that way, not making sure my knot is protected and after a few casts in and out, after that weight was slamming down on it, it ended up breaking whenever I did hook into a big fish. So protecting that knot is very important. So three-way swivel comes up next. So we got our sinker slide. So we got the sinker slide, our bead on our main line. Now let's go ahead and tie our main line to our swivel, our three-way swivel. Go ahead. And this is the knot I use every single time. I have never switched and I probably never will switch. It is a uni tie knot that every fisherman should know. Through our swivel, pinch, go around our fingers, let's make a hoop and then pinch. Pinch while holding on to that. Now take your hoop, let's go through it with this tail right here once, twice, three times and we'll go four and pull up while holding this. Kind of get that singed up there, just like that up there. And then grab right here, and grab right here and just kind of slide it down. Pull it down with your fingers right there to make sure it is snug. Just like that. Now cut your tail off, of course. Okay. So, so far, sinker slide, bead, three-way swivel. That's our main line. Now it's time for our leader. My leader is a 50-pound mono. We're going to go ahead and tie this directly below our main line on that swivel right there on that hole or on that loop right there so leader is coming on next and same thing i'm gonna go ahead and do a uni tie knot going through our leader i'm gonna do the exact same knot just like that Go through once, twice, three times, and four times. Again, kind of singe that up there. Grab your main line, grab down here, and just kind of nice and snug. Go ahead and cut your tail off. You don't want to leave a lot of tail, like if you were to do that, in my opinion, because it does stand a chance in the air of coming around and dangling and could kind of throw it out of spin in air. Just like that. So now we got our leader on right here on the swivel. Now we're going to go ahead and dress the leader. The first thing I'm going to put on my leader is my float. 
This is a peg float from Whisker Seekers. I also have the Walmart ones here, which work very good. They're a little bigger. I use these for more bigger size bait, you know, around that size. With these ones, you can still float, you know, decent size bait. So pop off this right here on your peg float. Go ahead and run your line right through here. Come through right here and just kind of let your peg float sit down here for right now. Go ahead and put your end right here. You're going to pinch it. You know, that way it's down here for right now. You're not going to slam it in there. You don't need it super tight right now. We're just getting it on there. So my next thing after the float is going to be my Versa Rattle. I like to use these. This color right here, the shiny ones. I feel like it adds visuals. It'll catch the eye of the fish, you know, just with the shine. So I got my peg float, my Versa Rattle on. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple beads. Not to protect the knot this time. These beads are actually added to create more noise, more vibration. Whenever that bait's under the water and it's swimming around and it's causing vibrations, it's also gonna be clacking against each other. Some guys don't believe this actually works. Some guys do, some guys aren't sure. You know, they just, they know they catch good fish on it. But I'm a true believer in believing that this has an advantage when you're out there. I always thought that if a fish saw your hook and saw your whatever down there, that he's not even gonna bite it. He's gonna think something's going on and he's just gonna totally ignore it. But that's not true at all. These bigger fish, when they see what they wanna eat, they're gonna go for it, they're gonna eat it. So when you have it presented right, they have no problem eating right in front of this right here. Okay, so this is where I measure how long I want my leader. So let's go ahead and get our float all the way down here so we can kind of measure, measure how long we want it. So right there is about where I like to tie my knot because after you get done tying your knot, it gains a few inches. So about right there is where I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and come up a little more, pull the tail a little more, pinch right here, and I'm gonna tie right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this extra I don't need. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie my knot, my uni tie knot. Go ahead and get the knot tied. Again, pull up right there. Don't get it too snug, but get it just enough to where it's that. Grab your hook. Get the main line. Let it go down. Nice and tight. Nothing's gonna break that. Let's cut our tail off. Just like that. There we go. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our peg float and we're gonna go ahead and put it where we want it. Now some guys will fish with it about right there. Some guys I've seen fish it right there. Me personally, I always like it. Just I'll slide it about right there. See how I, how I gave it enough room for this to slide up and down and it has room to make noise. So you have your weight right here. It falls in the water, hits the ground, boom. So now it's way down. Now, what's gonna happen is you have your fish right here. This is gonna float up. And that's what's gonna hang down like that. So it'll be about right here. So I like to have that pay float, you know, just about right there. Just enough room really to give that rattle enough room to slide up and down and as well as those beads. Go ahead and press this in a little more tight. Get your line, get it snug on your line. And this is exactly how I rig my favorite catfish rig right here. Got your sinker slide up and down right here. And what this does is 
if you have say an eight ounce weight so this is not going nowhere and you have sort of a bigger bait you know and with that weight sitting there and him not being able to him being able to pull like that he can rip off that hook now when we add a sinker slide when he pulls and it's sitting like that and the fish pulls it has a little giveaway he's not really able to get a good solid tug on it so the sinker slide is normally i'll use it for bigger baits that i know can you know definitely pull around down there on the water that way they aren't able to rip themselves off what's great about the weight clip snap is you're able to go ahead and switch weights on and off without completely retying your rig you can just switch as you like if the river's too fast you need to take this off put on a six instead of the five you can do it also if you don't want a sinker slide rig you do want it to stay put down there say you're using cut bait or something Go ahead and on this side of the swivel that we didn't use, you can also use this right here as well. I'll fish this way a lot too without the sinker slide up here, just nothing on my main line and just the weight snap connected right here. This is the rig I use 99% of the time when I'm out catching my big flatheads, big channels, big blues. A lot of guys don't like to float their bait off the bottom. Or they'll, you know, they'll use it in certain situations only, whether they're trolling or whether they're in a river with a lot of current. But I use this in still lakes, rivers, creeks. I feel like you definitely have a big advantage when you're down there fishing for flatheads, when you're floating your bait, when you're floating it off those rocks, when you have your hook not laying down somewhere where the bait kind of digging it in somewhere to where it's just on the bottom stuck and lodged in a rock yeah so i really feel like you stay in a way better chance when you're floating your bait off that's my opinion that's my experience we are using a seven knot circle hook i believe octopus style and there it is that is my favorite rig I've caught every single one of my giant flatheads on this rig. And it could be because I do, I don't really ever switch. But to me, I just have a lot of good luck with it. It works well. To me, you just can't get any better than that. Now you can do certain things with it. You can add more beads if you like. You can add a bigger float to float bigger baits. Um, with this one right here, you should be fine as far as like, you know, your regular baits, your goldfish that are this big, your perch that big, you know, this right here will float them just fine. Once you're getting bigger, you know, you're getting into the, that size, you know, I, I, I go into the bigger floats. The ones you can get at Walmart, they're really cheap too as well, and they work just fine. But yeah, that's it. That's my rig. I'm going to go ahead and take this rig out tonight. That's, that's why I got this one dressed up because I'm gonna be taking two poles. This is the exact same rig I have on my Abu Garcia C4 Ambassador. So I will be taking out two poles tonight, just like this. And that's my rig. And I'm gonna keep uploading videos on different styles of rigs because there are a ton of great other rigs too as well that I feel people should know. But I wanted to go ahead and start off with my favorite catfish rig for bigger catfish. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Go ahead and like and subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.